Good morning, gentlemen. We're on our 63rd segment of Think Before You Speak, The Laws of Lashon Hara, with clarity, with a few stories. Le'ilun Nishmat HaChafetz Chaim Zechet Tzadik L'Bracha. Le'ilun Nishmat Luz Aliza Bat Henriette and her children that passed with her in the fire. Ruach Hashem Tenichena Began Eden. As well, should be a zechut for the Cholim of Klal Yisrael, and a special zechut for our Bnei Chabura that learn every morning, for Shefa Beracha V'Atzlacha, these halachot are dedicated for the Shmira Ma'alya and the Hatzlacha Gedola of Chaim David Dov and Chayesar. Today, the halachot's title is being pressured. Being pressured. Now, I want to bring up to you a scenario while talking about the laws of Rechilut. Let's remember, Rechilut means that you tell something to someone about what someone else said about them or you tell something to someone about what someone else did to them in a way that it'll cause the person you're talking to hatred and animosity of someone else, either because they said something about them as you're repeating it, or they did something against them and you're bringing it to light. You're causing hatred between two Jews. That's Rechilut. So let me bring you out a scenario, something that I think is very common. Did it ever happen to you where you walked into shul one day and you walk up to a group of guys and the moment the guy who was speaking to the group lays eyes on you, he abruptly stops mid-sentence. And it's as if he literally just dropped the subject. Now you know, as well as he knows, as well as you know, that he stopped talking because of you. So obviously you, tell to you, you say to yourself, hey, he stopped talking because he doesn't want me to hear what it was that he was talking about. Must be he was talking about me. So you walk up to one of the guys that were in that group and you say, hey, before I showed up, what was he saying? He was talking about me, wasn't he? Now at that moment, is this guy allowed to tell you what he was talking about, knowing that he was talking about you? Well, of course not. That's Rechilut. If this guy in the group would turn around and say, yeah, right before you walked up, he was telling about what you did last week and so on and so forth. And that's why when you walked in, he stopped. Obviously, that would be prohibited. That is real Rechilut. So the guy cannot tell you what the guy was talking about before you walked up to the group. Now, what happens if you turn back to the guy now after seeing that he's not giving up or telling you what the guy was talking about, and you start pressurizing him. You start telling him, you know, I thought you were loyal. I thought you were a loyal friend. I thought you were the type of guy that me and you, we go way back. I could count on you on these moments that really shows who true friends are in life. And you start pressurizing the guy big time. Even if the guy is pressured to speak rechilut, the halacha is, he's not allowed to speak it. He's not allowed to talk rechilut, even when being pressured. And therefore, the halacha tells us, rechilut is forbidden, period. Doesn't matter if the person is being pressured into speaking it or not. And even if it's your own father that's pressuring you to tell you what this guy said about him, even if it's your own Rebbe that's pressuring you, asking you to tell him what this guy said about him, you are not allowed to concede. You're not allowed to give in. And you're not allowed to speak Rechilut, period. Let's remember something. If we were to go out and put pressure on the interrelationships between two Jews, put the pressure on bringing people together, we have enough problems in Klal Yisrael, in the areas of Shalom. We need people to put the pressure and step up to bring people together, not to push them further apart. Thank you for listening.